no matter how much the BBC want to shove it down our throats, there is no way that the British public will allow Shamima Begum to come back to the UK. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness like seriously bbc what the deuce were you thinking giving shamima begum a platform now for those that don't know she's from the uk and a few years back when isis were at their height she left the uk to join them and be a bride for one of the terrorists. Oh, yeah. And she said some insane evil stuff along the way. And the BBC have just given her a major platform to spout her whole propaganda. Now, before I jump into all of the details and why we should all be angry about this, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer. I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love this kind of news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button. Help us get to 100k. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever's. Also, as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. It does guarantee a response from me. And... Oh, yeah, let's jump into this one, shall we? So, yeah, a lot of us are just completely slamming the BBC right now for airing a 90-minute documentary just weeks after it launched a 10-part podcast retracing her steps it's, it's as if they're doing like this whole propaganda situation of she mean Bergam's all good now let her back in uh no and stay tuned on this video because you're gonna find out if you're not too clear on this story exactly why she is evil and freaking insane from her own gob herself, mind you. So do bear that in mind. So viewers have vowed to cancel their television licenses as they slammed last night's sickening 90-minute Shamima Begum documentary on the BBC. For those that don't know, TV license is like a government tax on the TV. It's a tax on uh, TV broadcasting. Uh, one of those things, okay? It's called TV license. So, um, Be uh, Begum, who is now 23, has made several highly publicised attempts to return to the UK and restore her reputation after the Home Secretary, quite rightly, stripped her of her British citizenship back in 2019. Now, it was about eight years ago she left her home in East London to Syria, which was a highly conscious decision on her part, mind you, okay, to join the enemy, uh, join the terrorist group, IS. Uh, critics say the BBC has been parading her as if she's some sort of celebrity for viewers. Uh, but viewers of the Shamima Begum story last night accused the broadcaster of presenting her as a vulnerable young girl with beautifully staged, moody shots, ominous backtrack and tearful pieces to the camera. Oh my goodness! We're supposed to feel sorry for this monster. Oh, no. Oh, poor her. No, she made a decision. She went over to the enemy. She joined them. That's it. Deal with the consequences now. Your citizenship for UK is gone. She ain't coming back. Like, not welcome in the UK anymore. That's it. She's got to stop this whole thing of trying to get back. Because it ain't happening. No way. If it does, oh, I'm sure there'll be riots. Uh, she is now living in a refugee camp in northern Syria, described as worse than a prison. She says, I hate myself inside. At least with prison sentences, you know there's going to be an end. But here, you don't know if there's going to be an end. No, there's not going to be an end because that's the life you chose. 
You chose to go over there. You chose to go with the enemy. Against your own people. Against the UK. Where you lived. Where you called home. Oh, uh, here are some of the pictures of her. Um, she, uh, when she was found at a refugee camp, at first she was in full Islamic uh, headdress um, and gear. But now, uh, when you see her more on the camera, she's now dressed in more Western clothing, which in my opinion, conspiracy theory or whatever, is a total manipulation. There we go. Uh, one critic said, sickened to have watched the BBC's airing of the Shamima Begum story. Another said, please tell me why the BBC are giving Shamima Begum the time of day. That girl has zero remorse. And I don't know why I have to see her on my TV. She had a choice. She made a choice. Vile. Absolutely. Uh, one said, I won't be renewing my license, which is the equivalent of like a TV tax. It's taking the mick. Another said, what is happening with the BBC? Are you kidding me? Won't ever pay my TV license again. She's a terrorist with no remorse. She doesn't deserve to have a story told like she is the victim. And that's the thing, right? Guys, she ain't no victim, right? And this is some of the reasons why we are here strongly against her coming back to UK. Like, no way. We applauded the government when they took her citizenship away. Like, bye, Felicia. We don't know you anymore. That's it. You're done. You're never coming back. And B, why there is so much backlash at the moment with this freaking BBC documentary that they've done on her and the 10-part series that they did prior to that. Like, what the douche, right? So... Here we go. Here are some examples. So, um, she was speaking to Sky News at one point, and she says she knew about the IS on alivements on other people before she left for Syria. So she knew how evil they were, yet she still went, and thinks that people should have sympathy. For everything she's been through. Yeah, sympathy, my backside. No freaking way. She knew, she admitted she knew how evil that group was before she left for Syria, yet still did anywhere to join their cause and to help them as a bride situation, right? Come the frick on. Come on. Here's another example straight from Arse's mouth. She says she was aware of the heads being removed from bodies and the unalivement by this evil group, but that she was okay with the actions at the time, at first, because she heard that Islamically it's allowed. Okay, yeah, right, okay. But how about this? Uh, British culture, not allowed, okay? British culture, we don't do that, right? Yeah, she's now turning around and being like, oh yeah, I'm all about the British culture. I want to come back to the UK, blah, 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 blah. And yet she comes out with that. Yeah. Oh. But there's more, and it gets worse. Remember what happened in Manchester back in 2017 um, with the Ariana Grande concert, the attack that happened? I remember when it happened. I was in Italy at the time visiting my family, and I'll always remember that day. Uh, I was on my way to Formia at the time, and my phone just blew up with notifications, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. And it was 
what was happening then at the time and I was shocked I was horrified and it just oh just got emotional right well did Shamima Begum think the same thing and feel those same things right <laughs> what's she say instead oh she says told the BBC while it was wrong for innocent people to have passed away in the 2017 Manchester attack, it was kind of realization for attacks on IS. Yeah. And coming around full circle, this is the evil woman that the BBC decided to do a puff piece documentary on for 90 minutes. In addition to the 10 bat freaking series they did a couple of weeks ago on it. If this is some kind of cockamamie stupid freaking attempt to try and persuade the British people to be like, oh my goodness, yeah, she's turned, she's good now, it's all Gucci, let her come back to the UK, give her back her citizenship, Everything's forgiven. We're all good. Hell freaking no. Over our dead bodies. Not happening in a zillion years. I don't trust her as far as I could throw her. I still believe, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, that if she comes back to UK, she is an absolute danger to our society. She may not be a danger in terms of a, let's say, physical attack per se but in terms of her mind her belief the ideology that she truly subscribes to i really really do believe that she definitely has the potential to be able to radicalize and no 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 we're not doing that we're not playing that game no freaking way jamima begum no freaking way are you coming back to the UK. You're done. you got your new life overseas. Freaking deal with it. And that's it. Game freaking over. With that being said, enough with my gob. It's now time for your gobs. If you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, there's gonna be more, then do make sure you press that subscribe button. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button. Like, share. Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories on this one. Also, as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. It does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.